right, I'm here with Kevin from Bobbit Geek Games showing off yes. Robit's Riddle, or Robit's. Robit's Riddle, sorry. Yeah. Um, which is kind of a family-oriented RPG game, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, and I know uh, when I was looking through the list of exhibitors, you know, I'm going through everyone, and immediately the art stood out to me. It's got this kind of friendly robot vibe to it. Yeah. Um, but I think it's a really interesting concept of uh, actually bringing that storytelling storytelling element to families. Yeah. Uh, how'd you come up with that? Uh, basically, I was looking for uh, an intro to RPG game mm -hmm. that I could kind of like break my kids on when they were like five or seven years. I had a five-year-old at the time and a seven-year-old at the time. And I tried different things. I tried some light RPGs. Um, I tried some things like Mice and Mystics as a you know board game version. Um, but nothing really fit the bill for me. Uh, because my kids really didn't have the attention span to sit through anything like longer than a half hour. Right. So that's kind of where this came from. Okay. Um, so tell me how it, how does it play here? Like what's what would you do when you uh, first open the box and get going? So when you first open the box, uh, basically you're going to choose a character. You set everything up like I have here. Mm -hmm. uh, you choose a character. So you know whatever looks interesting. You really don't know much about the stats right now. Okay. Uh, but so you choose know, a just, character. Just yep. Choose one. So and then you would choose a leader. Uh, and the leader chooses one of the books. Okay. And there's going to be three books in the box, right? So in this case, this is Big Brother. Uh, and we just start reading. Okay. And you go through the different pages, right? And there's, and, and it's kind of inspired by the Choose Your Own Adventure series of games. Sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, of books. So there's going to be, like, standard things, like, you'd find there that are, like, do you want to go to path A or path B? Go to page X, Y, right? Sure. But then there's going to be challenges, uh, like, you might come into the Worrying Waste, right, which is going to, like, bring out that location. Okay. And you might be uh, coming upon uh, the Fizzing Furnace, so that'll bring out that that location, that uh, obstacle. Okay. And then you're going to look at your character. So this, like, breaks out uh, kind of the encounter here. Okay. And there's a little list here of, like, pages you could turn to, but only if you succeed in the test, right? Right. And the higher up the list you go, the better the result. So the bottom option is always going to be things did not go well. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of follow along there, and you get to choose, like, what action you're going to do compared to the list list. And when you choose one of the actions, you're going to roll these dice. Right. Okay. Uh, and after you roll the dice, uh, before you roll the dice, you actually tell a bit of story because more than likely you're going to need help. And how you get help from each other is building on the story that the, the leader starts off with. Yeah. Oh, so to actually like contribute to the mechanism of the role, someone needs to add their inclusion as a role-playing element into the story. Yes. So this game... So I try, I'm trying to, like, this whole storybook adventure series is going to break down core elements of RPGs into playable components. Mm -hmm. So this one is heavy on storytelling. Sure. So that's, like, the main concept of how we're going to get past the obstacles. Right, right. So you actually provide a, an incentive and an actual mechanical reason yep. to start speaking up and adding your, your input. Right. And it's really to, like, for people that even aren't even comfortable with it. So you, the story could be, like, I'm stuck in this room. Well, I see this door. I, I'm really strong, so maybe I'm going to try to bang open the door. Door, right? Yeah, yeah. So the pictures and kind of the story are going to try to lead you into just some ideas, right? Yeah. And then maybe you don't succeed. Maybe you need to get help. Well, then your your uh, teammates are going to look at their story cues and say, well, I don't have to look at my actions anymore because that's already been done by the leader. So I'm going to look at my story cues and say, hmm, well, my hunches are always right. So maybe I'll spend a gear, mm -hmm. this little story token, on that hunches are always right. And I know that there must be a weak point around the glass that'll help you break the guard out. Oh, nice. So that's how you like feed off each other's story yeah, yeah. and spend the points. So each one of these you spend is one success. So, if you so, really... it, gets, so it gets the kids thinking about their character too, yep. yeah, as a character. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, that, and that's basically you keep going and you'll gain more story cues and more items along the way until you reach an ending. Great, great. How long does it take to get through one of these books? Depends on how far you get, right? So it's like the classic choose your own adventure. Oh, okay. It could be 
five minutes because you might hit an ending really early in the book, or you might go really deep into the book and find something that's you know worth a lot of points at the end, which I'm having trouble finding like this. Oh, sure, yeah. So, and it gives you points at the end, and as you collect things during the game, you'll see that you add points. So you add up all your points, compare it to some uh, chart here to see how you did. Oh, nice. That's fantastic. Um, are you selling the game right now? Un unfortunately not. I was hoping to have it ready by uh, this show, but uh, working with China is kind of hard. Oh, yeah, it's sure. It's my first game, so I'm definitely learning a lot right now. Yeah. Uh, it was supposed to be out uh, uh, by December. Um, I was hoping to have it a little early, but I'm actually probably going to be pushed into, like, February. Okay, fantastic. And you mentioned it's one of a series you're planning? Yeah, so this is, like I said, heavy on the storytelling. Mm -hmm. uh, there's three books in the box. Uh, each book has about 20 endings, and it'll have, like, five really good ones. Sure. So that's, um, and I'm guessing it'll take you, a, usually it takes a few plays before you start getting the good endings. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be, like, 20 to 30 plays out of the box. Sure. Uh, and I'll have expansions that add to this that are still in the same genre. Yeah, I mean, it's super easy to add expansions. Yep. You just need more stories. Stories, you know, more locations and such. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, for other ideas, like, so this one's, like I said, heavy on storytelling. I think the next one I'm currently developing is more heavy on uh, character building. So you'll start off with a character that's pretty weak. And as you play the game, you don't have to tell story in this one, but you're going to level up your character as you play. Oh, okay. And that's how you're going to get past the hard obstacles. Mm -hmm. You'll still have your friends helping you in the same kind of mechanisms, but just slightly different, right? Yeah. And then I'll have probably another that's like dungeon crawling and, yeah. and so on and so forth, right? Oh, that's fantastic. Are they all going to be in the same universe? Yeah, so they're all going to exist in this robot universe. Robot. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. That's fantastic. That's great to hear. I mean, like you said before, I, I hadn't seen anything like this. And while you know I don't have any kids right now, obviously there are lots of families who, you know, their parents grew up playing RPGs and they want to... They want to share that experience with, with the kids, and then it right. seems instead like a just, great way to do so. Instead of just throwing them in the deep end, saying, "Hey, let's create a character," which is cool, and, and, and I love that bit. And maybe I'll have a different one that's like yeah, yeah. character, you know, different kind of character creation. But uh, this, like, they don't even have to have it. There's no GM necessary. You're just books guiding you along the way, right? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You don't. Have to, it's, it's everything in the box is ready to go for that age group. RPG in the box. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, that's that's fantastic. Thanks for sitting down and talking. Thank you with me. I think it's really unique. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot.